Hey, what's today? The 27th? Yes, Boy, I know y'all ready to get some positive influence in your life now. We got a guest on the channel. Surprise guest. He's going to be leading us in the old devotion today. Yes, sir. Yeah, boy. The one and only. Captain McKean with Two Real Outdoors. Keeping it real with y'all this morning, baby. <clears throat> what's the what, what's the title, coach? What's the title today? The Divine Fire. The Divine Fire. Woo! Boy, we gonna get fired up this morning. With a dove on the page. With a dove on the a dove on the page. Got it. Hey, show them the title one time though. Show them a picture of the old time. Look, that's what I do every time. See that? Hey, the divine fire with the dove on the page. Boy, it's about to get too real again. We just can't help it. I will give them a new heart and a new mind. Ezekiel. Huh? How many of us need new hearts and new minds? Because the one we got is garbage. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. When a person comes in contact with the living God, he or she can never be the same again. This divine fire either draws or drives, saves or destroys, helps or hinders. Accepted and utilized, it becomes a boon and a blessing. Rejected, it becomes a bane and a curse. One dying thief was drawn to the warmth of the Savior. He responded in faith and was saved. The other dying thief turned away and rejected God's compassion. He was lost forever. That says enough. Did you hear what he said? The Bible says one dying thief was drawn by compassion to the Savior and was saved by faith. And what happened to the other one? He was rejected. He rejected God's compassion. He was lost forever. He rejected God's compassion and was lost forever. Mm. So God takes the weak and makes them strong. He takes the vile and makes them clean. He takes the worthless and makes them worthwhile. He takes the sinful and makes them pure. With this in mind, Ezekiel said, Thus saith the Lord God, I will give them a new heart and a new mind. I will take away their stubborn heart of stone, and I will give them an obedient heart. Uh, no, you will never be the same once you know Christ. What difference will we make in your life today? That's pretty black and white right there, boys and yes, girls. Sir. Hey, sir. you want some positivity? You want a new heart? You want a new mind? The Bible says to read his word, learn his word. He's a living God that created us. So you don't think he don't know what you're programmed for and what you need? God knows what we need more than we even know what we need. Absolutely. That's why when we follow his spirit within us and we obey and we're obedient, we walk by faith, he can supernaturally change things in our life, change our emotions, change our desires, take away pain and heal hurts. And give us a new life, a new walk, new energy, good vibes, and flesh and trash all the rest. Is that it or we still got hope for today? Hope for today, baby. <laughs> still we still got the, the hope for the day. Hit them with the hope for the day, please. Which thief on the cross are you? Which thief on the cross am I? Which one is you? <laughs> one doubts and cries out. One doubts and cries out. If you were the son of God, would you get me out of this trial? If you were the son of God, would you get me out of this trial? The other confesses only the son of God would, would enter this trial with me. And the other confesses only the son of God would enter this trial with me and walk this life with me. Oh my goodness. Lord God, fire. hey, Father, thank you for dropping the fire on us this morning, today. I ask, Father, that this would touch many many more people that get the opportunity to watch this video father and that we would encourage them to seek first the kingdom of god and trust and know that everything else that they need will be added to them behind the obedience of seeking you first we love you father we thank you for your obedience we thank you for your um, never failing love and faithfulness and grace and mercy that you show us father and we worship you and we glorify you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, y'all have a blessed and wonderful day, would you? Get fired up one time. <laughs>